Yeah, it's pretty like full circle thinking now that I'm a painter. I remember being around it and seeing my dad doing it and it is what fed us as a family, you know, when I was a kid and now like what's providing for my wife and I, you know, as a, as a livelihood is able to like be creative and to be a painter and to be able to do my artwork and for us to be able to, you know, live off that is, is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I was built my first bike and, you know, I just thought, you know, I need to do it all, right? Like that's how it is when you're building a motorcycle for yourself. So I decided to do the tank and fender and had fun with that creative process from the beginning. And like, just like with BMX, it kind of consumed me. It's like, I wanted to just do it more and more and uh, started grabbing, you know, some tanks from the swap meets and throwing some flames on them, did some patina stuff, did some nice stuff. It just started like slowly growing from there. As far as riding BMX, I mean, it definitely, there's a lot of freedom in the way that it feels, you know, as far as like, you know, you're pumping through a lip and you're in the air and you're literally floating through the air. And it's like, there's something so special and unique about that. And just the whole process, like the creativity process of building the jumps and that are art form in themselves, you know, the amount of hours that we spend shaping, packing lips. You know, people always talk about like motorcycles being these freedom machines and it is like amazing when you're going down the road and there's wind in your face and you know, the whole knees in the breeze type scenario and you know, I definitely, when I am riding a motorcycle and, and you start to become one with it, it's the same thing with BMX, like I'm one with my bike and I have the bars in my hands and I'm able to throw it around and that feeling of being in control of this machine that's under you and be able to maneuver it and put it where you want and bikes and BMX are super similar in that way. I think when you have a creative outlet that also is, can be your livelihood, I think there's something really special about that and unique. You know, not everyone gets to do what they want to do for a living just because life's tough, you know? And I'm super grateful to be able to like be an artist and um, yeah, to hopefully get longevity. You know, that in 25 and 30 years that I'll still be doing this and, and painting and being creative and to see the guys that are, you know, have been doing it and that still are, it's a huge motivation, you know, and it's rad to see that they've paved their own way. And I think that's what's important is you just do your own thing. You stay to what you're, you know, what's true to you. You know, with that, you can't go wrong.